right, folks, welcome back. We are on the ice again. We are fishing for lake trout and salmon today. I'm setting out some salmon traps right now. I'm just gonna let them sit as I'm jigging around this area. It's very windy today. If it's coming through my mic screen, I apologize. Uh, not the best ice conditions. Uh, it's a mix of slush, standing water. Um, I, I've hit pockets of six inches of standing water. There appears to be about a foot of ice, which is a little more than I was expecting. But we're gonna get after it, folks, and uh, hopefully tie into some fish. All right, so for anybody that's new, uh, this is a, uh, we call it an ice fishing trap, an ice fishing tip up. Uh, we have the flag here that we set on this post right here. We have a mechanism that comes down when the fish we're targeting hits our bait, pulls the reel, trips this mechanism, and the flag goes up. Fish on screen already, not convinced it's a leak trout. down. up though. Dang it. All right, fish on. Nice fish, whatever it is, folks. Nice fish. Wow, nice fish. Nice fish. My line's messed up though. Jeez. This is a nice fish, folks. It backlashed my spool, unfortunately. Oh, that's a big salmon. Big salmon. Giant salmon. Oh, giant salmon. Giant salmon. Nice. Yes. Check out this salmon, folks. That's the biggest salmon I've ever caught. That thing's a giant. I can't believe this fish didn't snap it. That's gotta be a 24, 25 inch salmon. Phenomenal fish, gonna get a quick still frame. Well, so this uh, hook is out of sight, folks. I gotta cut the line, unfortunately. I don't like to do that, but All right, last shot of it. That's a fish of a lifetime, folks. That is a giant. That was an unreal fish, folks. When I catch fish like that on camera, I just, I ramble. Um, phenomenal fish, uh, by far my personal best. I've never caught a salmon anywhere close to that. I think the closest I caught a skinny 19 inch salmon, I think I was trolling when I caught that. And I've caught one 18 or 19 fly fishing. Just a stunning, uh, healthy, solid salmon i've been trying to catch one of them for years and it's just a, a fish that i've never really been all that good at but i have to get a new hook on that unfortunately that that hook was out of sight so the best thing to do is just snip the line um, i just use real small hooks so that fish will be able to eat fine and uh, that hook uh, over time will just eventually um, work its way out and uh, that fish will be fine it took off fine but that's a uh, fish of a lifetime for me that's going to be a hard one to break but we're going to get that set back up and Hopefully get another one. And this is the setup I use for trout and salmon. Coming off my main line, I have a stainless steel ball bearing swivel going to a small split shot. I use 10 pound fluorocarbon. This is a Seaguar red label. I use about, I don't know, two feet or so of that. And right in the center of that, I put another uh, little split shot going down to a number six Gamakatsu octopus hook. These are my favorite hooks for trout and salmon. They're really sharp. I like the bend on them. It holds them really well. As you can see with this fish, this fish actually uh, um, backlashed my spool and 
my line was wrapped up around the post, I don't know, four, five, six times, and the line held against that big salmon, and the hook also held. So that's my tried and true setup. And I only put about five feet of line under the ice. That's all I run for salmon. Hey folks, I may have to give up on the trout fishing. I'm watching through this about every step. This bag is up again. I just reset it. Yeah, same thing, straight down. Another hit and run. So I'm just gonna jig shallow. I know that's not ideal for lake trout, but lake trout will come in shallow and feed. I'd prefer to be in 50, 60 feet of water, which is kind of where I was heading, but it's just too much work walking back and forth. So I'm gonna jig in like 20 or 30 feet of water. I did see some perch. I may try to grab a couple of them, but uh, it is crazy windy, pretty cold. I'm glad it's not like, um, you know, super cold. Cause if it was really cold with this wind, it'd be almost unfishable. But yeah, we're gonna uh, try some shallow jigging. See how that goes. had a little lake trout follow me all the way from bottom all the way up right under the ice so quite a bit of a downsize here this is what that fish was just chasing I'm gonna downsize I'm gonna downsize almost half the length and half the size of the body these lake trout um, are quite a bit smaller in here than some other places I'm gonna keep that other rod right handy but let's see if this makes a difference if this doesn't make a difference, I'm gonna put a little uh, piece of cut bait on. Jeez, sorry guys. I really slacked on this fish. I looked away to check my tra I looked away to check my traps, and this I assume lake trout came in and just annihilated this. I had zero. I had zero time to get the camera on. I actually didn't even see the fish I just felt the hit so sorry about that guys that was a slack on my part came in from bottom this is a relatively light rod this is a medium light it's a little on the small side for decent lake trout but just take yeah yeah lake trout nice one small one Come on, buddy. Here we go. Nice lake trout. Right in the snow. Well, that fish was not going anywhere. Nice lake trout. That's what uh, this place is uh, known for. Lake trout about that size. That's probably an 18 inch or so. You went the wrong way, buddy. So what I like to do, I don't do this all the time, but I like to wind a little bit of cut bait onto my hook here, push it up against the head, take my plastic, slide the plastic on. like that happened again guys these fish are just coming in a hundred miles an hour off bottom I'm not getting that chance to get my camera on I've had a few decent chases but that and the wind is just made for very challenging filming. Another nice lake trout. Another, another solid one. He munched that pretty good. Nice sturdy one. Another 18. Like I said earlier, this place has a lot of them. 20, that's a common size. 
All right, folks, we are packing up. The wind has been relentless today. It has been blowing nonstop. This wind has not stopped even for one second since I got here today. It's been blowing, you know, 10 to 20 miles an hour all morning. But uh, we're gonna head out of here. It's about 11.30. I got some stuff I gotta do this afternoon. But overall, it was a pretty good morning. That salmon is just, for me, a fish of a lifetime. That's gonna be a hard one to beat. A couple small lake trout. I was hoping to get in to a little more lake trout today, but uh, like I said earlier, I came into the shallow water and uh, um, who knows, maybe it paid off, maybe it didn't. I was, last time I fished this place, I didn't make a video about it, but I caught more in like the 50 to 60 foot range. Um, so who knows, you know, I may have caught more out there, I may not have, so you never really know. And I just want to point something out real quick before we sign off for this one. My lucky trap got it done again. My parents got this trap for me when I was a teenager. I don't even know. I was 13, 14, somewhere in that range. They got me, I think, two or three for Christmas. And that trap right there with my name on the side has caught more quality fish than all my other traps combined. I don't know what it is. It's just a lucky trap. Um, just always seems uh, to catch the good ones. You know, I've caught, you know, nice brook trout on that. I've caught lake trout on it. I've caught pike on it. I've caught just about everything off that trap and I don't know it just always seems to get it done but with that guys we're gonna wrap it up there I appreciate the view thanks for watching and we'll see you guys on the next one